Hey guys, it's RJ Good for a week, and I got another video here uh, from Pod2G's uh, blog. Um, he's recording all of his progress uh, with the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1, and it's possibly going to be with 5.0. I'm not sure on that yet. I know he uh, jailbroke a while ago the 3GS, um, the, the, not the 3GS, the iPod Touch third generation um, on 5.0, and that was untethered. Uh, and now he's been working on 5.0.1, so I don't know if it's going to be for 5.0.1 and 5.0 or just 5.0.1. Uh, but pretty much everything is done, everything's been tested and um, set to work for 5.0.1, uh, the untethered jailbreak. I know I covered this in my last video, but we got some more update on the A5 devices, uh, the jailbreak for that. Um, as of now, there's no information on the iPad 2, uh, but for the iPhone 4S, uh, Pod2G bought it uh, last weekend, this, this past weekend, um, right now it's December 20th, uh, but this previous weekend, uh, he said he was going to work hard, he just got his uh, his 4S, and he said he's going to work hard uh, that weekend, and he has, um, so you can see his, his post was on Monday, December 19th, uh, you guys may have heard that he had some problems uh, with the processor cache issues, and uh, that has actually been fixed now, he updated right here, but first I'm going to go through this. So in this post, um, he just gives his uh, information that he's come up with over that weekend. Um, and he said the end, he's close uh, to the progress. He's close to um, finishing it up, the jailbreak for uh, the 4S, the untether. Um, and he's saying it's failing right now because of the processor cache issues, like I said. And he says it has something to do with the Cortex-A9 cache management, which I have no idea what that even means. But basically, he figured it out now. So that was his problem. Uh, he was having problems with the processor cache issues, but he's going to all figure it out now. Um, and I believe, I don't know if he jailbroke it already or what, but um, he said he sorted out the problem with that. So he said it could sort out quick, or it's a matter of chance, and it definitely did get sorted out quickly because he has fixed the problem uh, today or yesterday, uh, today actually, yeah. So it says no more cache troubles. Uh, so the first sentence here, he just says that the A5 cache is not a problem anymore, which, was he, which he was talking about in this post, and that was the only problem with the untether. Uh, so right here, this is where he said his explanation, how he fixed it. Uh, I have no idea what any of this means, but it sounds like he actually did a jailbreak get untethered uh, because he said he sorted it out uh, by doing the untether in a single thread and by flushing all the decache and all of the iCache in a row at a strategical point in the, of the process. Uh, so it sounds like he did the jailbreak and um, he, whatever this stuff means, I don't know, <laughs> whatever it was, um, he fixed the problem. Uh, and it does sound like he jailbreak untethered. So it sounds like we got this jailbreak coming up soon. I'm sure he plans on uh, jailbreaking the iPad 2 untethered also. Uh, but because it's the same processor, this should not be hard at all. And I'm not sure how any of this works. If I say anything wrong, you guys can correct me down below and leave a comment. Uh, but I believe because uh, he jailbroke the 4S uh, with the A5 processor, it should not be hard at all to jailbreak the iPad 2. Uh, and once he gets everything situated, um, and he actually talked to Soric uh, about getting a perfectly stable jailbreak. They got one uh, piece apparently that they were missing, and um, they found it now. So he's got a perfect uh, stable jailbreak. He says uh, he talked to Soric about the launch the boot process. Uh, so now he's got a perfectly stable jailbreak. Um, so we should be seeing this jailbreak come out soon. I'm hoping within a week. And uh, someone's, I don't know, I heard rumors it's going to be before Christmas, which uh, I don't believe Pod2G said he might have. I don't remember ever hearing that. Uh, but apparently it's, they said some rumors have been saying before Christmas. Uh, so we, I, I hope to see this in the next week. He's got everything situated. He's just working on actually getting everything together. And we should see jailbreak uh, very soon here. So I just want to go ahead and update you guys uh, with this jailbreak news. Definitely some satisfying news to uh, your iPhone 4S and iPad 2 users, um, the A5 devices. But that's it, guys. I just want to give you the overview of this. Uh, this jailbreak has definitely uh, come together very nicely now. And we should be seeing it really soon. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. If you want some updates, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, the username is the same as my uh, YouTube username I take every week. Uh, you can, if you also want to subscribe up top, uh, that'll also notify you because I will release a video um, when the iOS 5 and 10 jailbreak is actually out uh, for all the devices, including the A5 devices. I'll probably have a video just saying that it's out, and then after that, I'll have the jailbreak tutorial. So if you guys subscribe up top, you'll definitely uh, get the information that you need. But that's it, guys. Um, you can also like the video down below. That helps me out. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next video.